Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are keeping safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Um, guys, that was a great live stream yesterday. Uh, really enjoyed it. I think it was really good. Uh, everyone, you know, I love it when things get heated. I love it when things, when it goes back and forth. Keeping respectful and keeping the debate respectful, not getting personal. Um, I think that always makes for a lively debate. And, you know, sometimes certain people make points and certain people feel disrespected by it uh, because, you know, they're talking about their favorite fighter. Um, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. And as long as the debates are respectful, as long as the debates are, for me, you know, not, not attacking anyone personally, I think it's always great. You know, we can all have our different opinions. We all think differently. Um, and we all have we we all have our own opinions about certain fighters um, and what we think of their careers. Certain fighters mean more to us just because we think they've taken more risk. Certain fighters, although they were great, we don't think they've taken as bigger risks. Um, but yeah, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and, and like I said, as long as we keep it respectful, as long as we you know let everyone have their say. As long as everyone's entitled to what they they believe in their opinion, I don't feel there's anything wrong with you know a good healthy debate. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You know, sometimes certain people get a little bit too emotional, um, which you know I can understand. Uh, it's not. Some people are really emotionally invested with a fighter, so it can result them in acting a bit emotional. You know, they get really emotional. I'm a bit different. Um, I can I can keep calm, um, even when someone says something about a fighter that I like. I like to hear people's opinion and why they think a certain way, and I think that makes for a lively discussion. It makes for a heated debate. You know, it makes for a good argument, good debate. Me and my brother have a lot of debates. We don't always agree with everything, um, but as long as we're not attacking each other personally, because we think differently, and that's that's the way I feel about debates but getting on to the topic that I wanted to talk about Errol Spence and Terence Crawford you know I've been asked who do I think wins this fight what's going on first let me talk about the business side you know we know that Errol Spence and Terence Crawford have been struggling to do a deal we know that Errol Spence you know believes he's the A side in the fight he believes he's he's the more marketable fighter he believes he deserves a lion's share and Terence Crawford isn't having it. Terence Crawford believes it's a 50-50 fight. Um, Errol Spence feels otherwise. We know that Terence Crawford is now a free agent and he's no longer with top rank. So he's he's able to do a deal with PBC for the Errol Spence fight. Terence Crawford, I think it's going to be difficult for him to be a free agent. I think... Al Heyman and PBC would want him to sign with them uh, because if he fights Errol Spence and then he goes, beats Errol Spence and then he takes all the marbles because, you know, he'd have virtually all the marbles, PBC would be left with nothing at the welterweight. They, their power of standing in the welterweight division won't be what they want it to be. And welterweight division, as we know, is the most prestigious division in boxing. You know, it's got the best fighters in boxing. You know, right now, I, I believe anyway, I think there's some of the most talented fighters. Uh, you know, there's Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, Jaron Ennis, and then you've got other guys like, you know, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter's retired now, but Keith Thurman, you know, there's there's a lot of good there's a lot of good guys in the welterweight division. Um so PBC wanna make make sure that they, they can hold on all to all the marbles. But you know, we wanna see the big fights. We wanna see Errol Spence v Terence Crawford. It's a great fight. It's a fight that I think we all wanna see. And we've all wanted to see it for a very long time. Unfortunately, this fight doesn't look like it's going to get made. And I'd even say now, it still doesn't look like it's going to get made because they're both going back and forth on social media. But it doesn't seem like, you know, there's any deal being put in place to actually get the fight done, which is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Because we want to see the fight. We don't want to see them going back and forth on social media. You know, I said... This may be our British version of Khan Brook. Well, Khan and Brook are getting it on, but look, 
it's five, six years past it best. Even though, you know what, it's sold out and it's it's do, probably gonna do crazy numbers on pay-per-view and it's already sold out at 20,000 in 10 minutes. The problem is the American fans aren't like the British fans. So if this fight goes past its sell-by date, it's not gonna be a big fight. In America, they've got a lot of things going on. So they, these guys need to hit strike while the iron's hot. And plus, neither of these guys have really developed a name. They're not household names in America. They're decent names, but they're not household names in America. And uh, whereas Khan in the UK is a huge, huge superstar, and Brooks got a decent name as well. Brooks probably bigger in the UK than they are in their country, Crawford and Spence. So uh, that's probably why the the Khan Brook fight is still going to sell. And British pe culture is a little different. British people are a di bit different. Um, Americans are a little different. They think a bit differently. Uh, so these guys need to strike while the iron's hot. Like Mayweather and Pacquiao was different because Mayweather and Pacquiao were just two household names in America. So they could sell because they're icon. They're like, you know, huge. Spence and Crawford aren't like that. They haven't got the profile. They haven't got the names that those guys had. So it's a completely different, it's a completely different, the the stature, the the, the size of the fight is a completely different, you know, it's it's not the same stature. A fight, you know, the the Mayweather Pacquiao fight was just too was massive, massive. So you can't really compare Mayweather Pacquiao to Spence Crawford. It's just not the same. So I really hope that they can they can make a deal and and do that fight as soon as possible because but they both need it. Uh, Eddie Hearn believes that Errol Spence will duck Terence Crawford and he'll move up to 154 to kind of avoid the Terence Crawford fight. I hope not, because that would that would be it'd be damaging. And you know what? Ter and Eric Hearn also said that Terence Crawford might be left looking for that legacy fight. He may not ever get it. And if Ter if Errol Spence does leave, then you have to say that what's his legacy fight? Is it Jaron Boots Ennis? But Jaron Boots Ennis is not accomplished himself. He's not a very accomplished fighter. He's hardly done anything yet, of note. He's a good fighter, but he's he's hardly done anything. You know, so how how are they? How how is Terence Crawford going to make a mark? You know, and some if someone like Jaron Boots and his, ends up beating Crawford, you know, Crawford is going to be left. You know, you'd have to say like he's got listen, he's got a great legacy. He's a three weight world champion, undisputed, hundred and forty pound champion. And we all know the eye test don't lie. We all know he's a great fighter, but his resume is not great. When you think about it, some of the biggest names that he fought were past their best. That's. You know, and, and he needs a name. He may have to go up to 154 to fight a Jamel Charlo. I said this. I like to think that Spence would fight Crawford. I like to think that Spence wouldn't allow this fight to go down the wayside. But coming on to the, the, the style of the fight, I always back in the day thought Spence would be too big and strong for Crawford. However, as seeing Crawford develop and as seeing Crawford the way he's looking right now, the way he's so destructive and he's putting people away and he's growing in confidence, growing in stature and Errol Spence is kind of going in the opposite direction. And what I mean by that is he suffered a car accident and although people said his performance looked good and he, and he beat Garcia easy, I don't think he looked the same. Uh, that's just my opinion. Although it was a great performance, I don't think he looked that great. To be honest with you, um, he did what he had to do. Uh, and then after that, he suffered an eye injury. A fractured eye socket, what I think he suffered. That's not going to help his cause either. Then he's been inactive for God knows how long. When was the last time Errol Spence fought? Can't even remember when the last time Errol Spence was... When was the last time Errol fought? Was that against Mikey? Uh, was that 2000? I can't even remember. Was it 2019 he last fought? I can't, I genuinely can't remember. You know, that's how long ago it was. It, he's fought a long time. Was it last year in 2020? Because I, I, he fought Crawford. He fought Porter in 2019, I'm sure. Then after that, did he fight Mikey Garcia? I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. I, I won't, is his last fight Porter? No, his last fight can't be Porter. I can't even remember. It's not coming to my head who he fought last. Danny, sorry. 
silly me. He fought Danny Garcia. Of course, he fought Danny Garcia, yeah. He fought Danny Garcia. Ugh, lost my mind. Yeah, so I think in, at the end of 2020, he fought Danny Garcia. So he's going to be out of the ring for a year now. You know, they're talking about a March fight, so he's not going to be in the ring for one and a half years. Uh, he's also suffered an injury. Yeah, um, I don't know with Errol Spence. Personally, I think Terence Crawford will win that fight. I just think Terence Crawford, he's too fresh. He lives the life. He hasn't had any shenanigans going off in his life. He's a very skilled fighter. He fights orthodox southpaw. He's got it all. He's got he's got it all. You know, he's got everything in his arsenal. Uh, and I personally think Terence Crawford will beat Errol Spence. Uh, I think he'll beat him handily as well. Uh, I think Terence Crawford is moving in the right direction. Errol Spence is probably moving in the wrong direction. So I've got Terence Crawford in that fight. Um, and I didn't before. I didn't a couple years ago. But a lot's changed since then. A lot's happened in their lives. A lot's, a lot's happened in their journeys, you know. And uh, what I thought of Errol Spence and what I thought Errol Spence might become, I don't believe Errol Spence will go on to achieve what I thought he would achieve just because I think he's had a lot of setbacks. He's had a lot of injuries. Um, and I just think that some of the injuries he's had is going to hold him back, you know, from get, achieving what I thought he could achieve initially. When I first saw him against Mikey and, you know, I thought, wow, this is a talent. When I saw him against Kel Brook, I thought, whoa. But it seems to me that there's been a lot of obstacles in his way. You know, he had the accident and then the eye injury. Then, you know, it's just, it, there's, you know, can, can he come back from that and go on to achieve greatness? Probably, may, maybe, who knows? But... It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, especially with some of the guys coming up like Jaron Ennis, Crawford, Virgil Ortiz. You know, we just don't know what Errol Spence has got left now. Because like I said, the Danny Garcia fight, Danny Garcia fought a little bit flat. He didn't really take it to Spence the way I thought he would. And I actually thought there's a chance of an upset here, but he didn't. Danny Garcia didn't really take the fight the way I thought to Errol Spence he would. Um... But some of the, the other guys, like Virgil Ortiz, who's a pressure fighter, come forward, hard guy, big puncher, that could be a horrible fight. And so with someone like Ennis and Crawford, these are horrible fights uh, for Errol Spence because you just don't know what he's got left, to be honest with you. And that 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 that's what it'll come down to. But if that fight was to happen next, or you know, depend like it depends on who Errol Spence fights next. I think whoever he gets is not going to be easy because they're talking about Jaron Boots Ennis might become his IBF mandatory. If that beca if he becomes his mandatory, then wow, I think uh, I think Spence is in trouble. I think Spence might find himself in a situation where Brook found him found himself in where he wanted to fight Khan, but Spence became his mandatory, and they were trying to avoid Errol Spence to forget that Khan fight because they knew the Khan fight was probably not as tough, and it's a bigger money fight. And I think I think if I was Errol Spence, I would look to make the Terence Crawford fight just because you don't want a mandatory like Jaron Boots Zenis. Because to me, that's just as tough as the Crawford fight. And you're not going to get paid as much. So personally, I think he should look to pursue that, uh, that Crawford fight because I think these young guys are coming up very fast. And before you know it, they're going to be his mandatories. He's going to have no choice to, but to fight them. So I think the Crawford fight should be made ASAP, if I'm honest. Or at least make an Ugas fight. You know, uh, and that seems a difficulty as well because Ugas has got a mandatory, which it looks like he's holding things up as well. So, yeah, if the fight was to happen now, I favour Terence Crawford to beat Errol Spence. But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.